a day that's been years in the making, one that I've really been looking forward to. I believe that augmented reality is a profound technology. Blending digital content with the real world can unlock experiences like nothing we've ever seen. So today, I'm excited to announce an entirely new AR platform with a revolutionary new product. Joining us now is technology analyst Richard Kerr in uh, Cyber Jaya, Malaysia. Richard, good to have you on the show. Uh, what are some of the pros and cons about this new headset, you think? I think for this headset, it will actually help revolutionize the uh, technology applications in many areas. But of course, at the same time, it will also uh, interrupting the daily lives of people, ordinary people in terms of using this device, they'll be distracted every day. Uh, but in general, I think this is going to be positive for the whole tech industry. Um, do you think that people are actually going to sort of flock to, to, to buying this product or uh, in terms of technology, what it has to offer, there is something that sets it apart? I think it's just going to be similar like when the Apple Watch was launched. Um, initially, people were reluctant, but of course, for the price point at $3,500, it's going to be quite steep for many people. But I guess this is one of probably Apple's strategy to actually try out this new technology and get people to adopt to this uh, new technology to, to be able to, to make this uh, um, available to uh, general public. Why now? I mean, that, that, that's the question that I ask. I mean, when Tim Cook was speaking, he said that we've been working on uh, augmented reality, virtual reality for, for many years. And I, when, when you kind of look at uh, Apple's patents in the past, it does sort of leave a, a, a bread trail. But Google has, uh, has taken a stab at it, not very successful. Meta uh, has also tried it. Uh, but do you feel that we're at an inflection point when it comes to public interest? I believe so because in general, Apple is does really, really, really well in terms of doing marketing for all their devices. So I guess uh, for for the rest of the companies, maybe it's a it's a good opportunity for them to introduce this technology to to the mass audience. But I guess perhaps Apple is doing it right this time around, and we're just going to see what's going to happen in the next uh, few months once the device is launched. Okay. Do you feel that the uh, the pressure is on now, app developers? Yes, I guess, because this is people have very high expectations for all Apple-related devices. So I guess once this is launched, uh, the developers have to really, really spend a lot of time and to really show that whatever they've been showing during that launch would actually match people's expectations. Okay, uh, in terms of sort of revolutionary products that Apple has launched in the last uh, quarter century, uh, the iPhone, the iPod, uh, the, the Apple Watch, where do you think this ranks? Uh, in, on that list? Because this is going to be a totally different types of new technology, especially if it's going to be used for the mass public, right? So I guess uh, in terms of ranking, maybe it's going to be number three for me, at least because this is into the, one that, uh, the mass adoption is going to be similar to the uh, smartphone, like the iPhone, for example. Okay, Richard, I'm afraid we're going to have to cut our interview a little bit short. We're experiencing a little bit of an audio problem. Uh, it was a pleasure speaking to you. I had a lot more questions to ask, but hopefully uh, we can get you back soon. Thank you.